Hello there, I'm Lloyd Evans and you're watching the John Cedars channel from The Bunker and in this video we need to talk about baptism questions, specifically the two questions that Jehovah's Witnesses are asked at the assembly or convention before they go to the baptism pool to be baptized as Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, I'm not going to bore you with an exhaustive summary of all of the changes or the history of these questions. Let's just go as far back as 1985 when a change was introduced so that rather than simply baptizing themselves as followers of Jesus, Jehovah's Witnesses were asked to declare aloud their allegiance to an organization. So as of 1985, the questions were, well, there were two questions, obviously. The first question being, on the basis of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, have you repented of your sins and dedicated yourself to Jehovah to do his will? And the second question was, do you understand that your dedication and baptism identify you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with God's Spirit-directed organization. So these were the questions that I had to answer when I was baptized as a Jehovah's Witness, which, if you're interested, was on December 15th, 1990 at Manchester Assembly Hall in England. And these questions were read out, and I and all the other baptismal candidates had to give a loud and affirmative yes to each of those questions. Now, interestingly, as of this year, 2019, the questions have changed very slightly. And I've had people contact me saying, will you be doing a video? Will you be doing a video? And until I actually came across footage of the questions being read out at a very recent convention, due to my preparations for the rebuttals to the 2019 Love Never Fails convention. I, I didn't really feel I could address this properly, but now I have the footage, it's worthwhile seeing the new questions being asked. So rather than tell you what the questions are, let's watch together as David Schaefer at the Atlanta International Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses as part of the 2019 Love Never Fails Convention Program. Let's watch as Schaefer uh, takes the baptismal candidates through those two questions. Now, ordinarily, it's considered inappropriate to raise your voice during a Christian meeting. But for you candidates, these next two minutes are different because all of the friends in this big auditorium want to hear your personal expression. So we invite you to give a very loud answer to the following two questions. Don't be shy. I'll ask each question. And uh, they're just a little simpler than what you may have heard in the past. So listen carefully, then I'll gesture as I say, your answer, please watch the hand so that you can answer together in a loud, clear voice. Ready? Here we go. Question one. Have you repented of your sins, dedicated yourself to Jehovah, and accepted his way of salvation through Jesus Christ? Your answer, please. Question two, do you understand that your baptism identifies you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with Jehovah's organization? Your answer, please. Your clear, affirmative answers to these questions indicate that you are qualified for baptism as ordained ministers of Jehovah God. Yeah. 
But now it's fitting that we approach our Heavenly Father in prayer. Now, that was perhaps a little more theatrical than you would normally expect for a baptism talk, but that's essentially how it happens for all Jehovah's Witnesses when they get baptized, or at least since 1985, with, as Schaefer recognized there, a subtle change to the wording. Now, in fairness, the changes were quite slight, so it was probably difficult for you to spot them. So allow me to point them out to you with the aid of a, an announcements and reminders form from May 2019. These are announcements that were handed out to all congregations and under point three of the May 2019 announcements it says baptism questions the two baptism questions that are reviewed with candidates at the time of their concluding discussion with the elders and that are included at the end of each baptism talk outline have been changed as follows and then it lists the questions as David Schaefer read them out and it further says the new questions will be used starting with the baptism talks at assemblies and conventions beginning the week of May 13th 2019 elders should update the two questions on page 209 in their copies of organized to do Jehovah's will so interestingly if you were baptized before the week of May 13th 2019 your questions were different and they were as listed in the Organized to Do Jehovah's Will book. So just to do a direct comparison, question one was, on the basis of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, have you repented of your sins and dedicated yourself to Jehovah to do his will? That same question now reads, have you repented of your sins, dedicated yourself to Jehovah and accepted his way of salvation through Jesus Christ. So you could argue that it's just a, a rewording or maybe even a simplification, although it was already a fairly simple question, but not too much has changed in substance for that particular question. The second question, as, as it was originally since 1985, was, do you understand that your dedication and baptism identify you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with God's Spirit-directed organization. Again, the emphasis there being on identifying yourself as a Jehovah's Witness in association with God's Spirit-directed organization. This question now reads, do you understand that your baptism identifies you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with Jehovah's organization. So God's Spirit-directed organization, which is making quite a large claim there, is now simply Jehovah's organization. Now, is this a huge change? I would actually argue no. I think that what we're seeing here, rather than the organization admitting that it is not spirit-directed, I think it, it has always claimed that and will continue to claim that God's Holy Spirit is directing the organization. I think what we're seeing here in fairness is simply a simplification of the question uh, to now call it simply Jehovah's organization. and when you research what Jehovah's Organization is in, Je in Watchtower Publications, you learn that there's a heavenly part and an earthly part, and the earthly part is directed by Jehovah through the Holy Spirit. So what we're seeing here is basically a streamlining of the questions. We've seen Watchtower do similar things with the songs that have been you know, songs that have been sung for years and years have been reworded so that they are in the minds of the governing body or watchtower simplified, even though they were perfectly understandable to begin with. I think what we're seeing here is just tinkering with the wording with, with the aim of making it simpler 
rather than any kind of concession that this isn't God's spirit directed organization. I, I do think that the organization still maintains that. But nevertheless, I think it's interesting to highlight this aspect of becoming a Jehovah's Witness, and this is a good opportunity to do that because it demonstrates that when you get baptized as a witness, you are essentially pledging yourself. Rather than pledging yourself to Jesus and God, you're wedding yourself to an organization that claims authority over you and will punish you in the severest possible way if you ever change your mind, if you ever decide that this isn't Jehovah's organization, if you ever conclude that Jesus and God have no role at all in the teachings and in the policies that Watchtower passes down, you will be punished in, in the most severe way, regardless of how young you were when you got baptized. I was 11 when I committed myself with these questions and I was still held to that pledge and it's worth pointing out that in the organization's literature there are accounts of witnesses getting baptized as young as seven or eight and yet no matter how young they are they are held to these questions and and the pledge that they made is used as a basis for cutting them off from their families as punishment so i thought it was worthwhile going over that adjustment I'm now going to get back to working on my rebuttals to the latest Love Never Fails 2019 Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses. But I hope you found this information interesting. Please don't forget to subscribe to the John Cedars channel for more such videos. And as always, thank you for watching.